Hi, I'm like the Valley Girl. I live in Silicon Valley, the heart of innovative technology. I know where all these awesome companies are, but how the heck did they get here? That's what I'm here to find out. I'm like the Valley Girl. What do you do? Hi, I'm like the Valley Girl. Sometimes I wish I could be like Superman and fly. And then other times I think, Maybe it'd be cooler to be like Batman and drive a really cool car. Our next guest couldn't decide, so he does both. Please welcome Mr. Elon Musk of Tesla Motors and SpaceX. Hi, Elon. How are you doing? Good. How are you? <laughs> Good. Have a seat. Tell me, what is an entrepreneur to you? You know, I think somebody that is a, probably somewhat of a generalist, even if though they may have specific strengths in certain areas, technical, business, or, or whatever. And generalist, you mean just kind of like see the bigger picture? Mm, certainly see the bigger picture, but I mean in terms of skills. I actually think most people can be a generalist, but being a generalist means doing some things that you don't necessarily like doing. I don't like doing things that I don't like doing. <laughs> right. <laughs> what does SpaceX do? Uh, SpaceX, we uh, design and manufacture rockets and spacecraft. So are you working with NASA or you're kind of yeah. replacing NASA? No, 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 NASA is our biggest customer. And what made you want to start this kind of a company? Well, when I was in college, there were three areas that I thought would most affect the future of humanity. Uh, that was uh, the internet. Um, you were right about that. Yeah. <laughs> but originally, I applied to Netscape. Um, they didn't respond to me, so I had to start a company. Bet you're sorry now, Netscape. <laughs> uh, the transition to a sustainable uh, energy economy. Okay. Um, and uh, the third was uh, space exploration, in particular the extension of life beyond Earth. What do you personally think is out there that we can find by, you know, launching rockets into space? Well, I think there's a lot that we can find. Aliens? Uh, um, unlikely in our solar system. Uh, it's possible. Maybe some pink ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mars is red. It's pinkish. Um, <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I think there's, it's not a question of, of necessarily finding things, although I do think that, that finding things is, is important. Um, but it's really the, it's making life multi-planetary. Like getting a summer home on Saturn or something, kind of thing. Um, it's really a, a about uh, backing up the biosphere. I think we need to take precautionary measures to ensure that life continues, at least life as we know it. And, um, and the right way to do that is to, to back up the biosphere to another planet. Now, yeah. well, tell me about the first launch. The Falcon 1, was that the first one? Falcon 1 is a small rocket, and that was kind of our, our test yes. article. Okay. We, we got to orbit last year with Falcon 1. Okay. And then Falcon 9 is a much bigger rocket. What happened to the, all the Falcons in the middle? Well, the, the, the number refers to the number of engines. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Falcon 9 is nine, nine, nine engines on the base. Yeah. Okay. So how does it work when it takes off? Like, what makes it go? It, Actually, it expels some... high-velocity high gas from the... Uh... Here, you can, you can um, use this to demonstrate. Sure. <laughs> well, uh, it makes use of Newton's uh, third law. Okay. Um, and, uh, Is that gravity? No. That's... Uh, <laughs> uh, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Oh, right. Okay. When you shoot gas out the, at the end, um, it pushes the rocket in the opposite direction. Okay. Uh, conservation of momentum, basically. Okay, so you're shooting gas, and then it takes off. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think is the coolest thing about um, the rockets that you guys are making? The, the, the coolest thing about our rockets is that they have the potential to uh, be a, a massive cost improvement in space transportation. Oh, so, so it's, like, it's like cheap transport to space. The, the only way to get to an order of magnitude or, or, or beyond in terms of improvement is to make it reusable. So oh, right okay. now, so we make reusable, recyclable rockets. Reusable, well, just like any mode of transport, uh, cars, planes. They uh, reuse all the parts and. The, no, no. You, well, you you do multiple trips, right? Oh, you don't right. have to buy a car for a single trip. Oh, um, right. <laughs> um, if a 747 ha can only be used for one flight, okay, it will be a very expensive flight. Well, hey, do you wanna do you wanna launch it one more time for us? <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> I think it's time for a break. We'll be right back with more fun and Elon Musk after this. <laughs>